Hello everyone. So, uh, if you're taking your photogrammetry models into Maya and you've retopped them and you now have your low poly version along with your baked out normal and color slash diffuse maps, I want to show you how you can bring that into Substance Painter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go File, New. I'm going to go to Select. I'm going to go to my Scenes file folder where I saved my low poly FBX of my pastry, which I scanned in the other day. I'm going to change my document resolution to 2048. Under Imported Baked Maps, I'm going to go to Add. I'm going to go to my Source Images. And I'm going to select my Croissant Diffuse and Croissant Normal. All right, so they're both here. That should be everything, and we're going to use the template PBR Metallic Roughness Starter Assets and click OK. So now that I've done this, I should have my uh, low poly um, model of my croissant in Painter, which I do. I'm going to go under Texture Set Settings, and now I'm going to click on um, Bake Mesh Maps. And that's going to open up my mesh map settings. Now, if your mesh map settings are not showing up, go to Window, Use, and click Mesh Map Settings here. And you can also click Mesh Map Bakers. And it's very important that both of these are here. If there's not, you cannot add a high poly uh, model to your um, maps. So this is 2048. So I'm not going to include... Uh, my normal map here. Actually, you know what? Let's go, let's return to painter mode and under select a normal map before we bake out, I'm going to select my normal map, which is already here. And then I'm going to go to bake mesh maps. And now you can see that my normal map is our, it, it will apply. So we don't need the normal and everything else looks good. Um, I changed my output resolution to 2048. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bake selected textures. All right, and once we're done, we're going to return to painting mode. I believe the keyboard shortcut is F8. And as we can see, we have our high poly uh, um, normal map has applied properly to our croissant. But now we need the texture. So I'm going to go to Layers, and I'm going to create a new fill layer. So that's the little paint bucket layer. I'm going to click it. Oh, I made too many. Uh, you can delete layers by selecting one and going to the trash can. And I'm going to rename this fill layer uh, Diffuse Pastry. All right, now I'm going to go down to the Properties Fill section. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go to this option right here that looks like a little, um, oh, there's there's a specific cookie that this looks like, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the material icon. So I'm going to click on it, and under Base Color, I'm going to click on Base Color and scroll down until I see my croissant. So in my resources, that's where my texture maps have saved. So I'm going to select it, and voila! I now have my color texture, my color map applied. Now if I only want to look at uh, 3D only, I'm going to click here so I can just see the 3D. Now this is a little bit shiny. If you want to change shininess under properties fill it again, we can uh, change our roughness values so it's not so reflective. And if you don't want it to be reflective at all, because it is a croissant, you just bring the roughness values down. Now I think the chocolate was a little bit glossy. So the other thing you could do is you can make another layer and you can apply the diffuse pastry again, but you can apply um, a mask to it and mask out uh, the pastry part and just have the chocolate part. Um, uh, on its basically own layer showing and that can be shiny so there's all sorts of great things that you can do we'll explore those in a different lesson until next time have a great one bye